Hi everyone and welcome back to one more video of All Light Food The Kitchen Talks and today I am going to talk about how to make the pizza base and the simple science behind our favorite pizza crust. So let's get started. To make the pizza crust or the base, first I am going to activate the dry yeast. Dry yeast are partially dehydrated granules containing dormant yeast cells that can be kept in the room temperature for several months. And to activate the dry yeast, rehydrate them in warm water with a pinch of sugar to feed the yeast. The resulting foam is confirmation that the yeast is still alive. A temperature of 90 to 100 degree Fahrenheit of the water is ideal for the yeast activation and fermentation. Now let it to rest for 2 to 4 minutes. Meanwhile to make the dough, I am taking 1 and a half cup of whole wheat flour and 1 cup of all-purpose flour which will help to make the pizza dough stretchy and soft. Next, 1 tablespoon of sugar. This will add sweetness to the crust as well as feed the yeast. And half a tablespoon of salt. Now let me tell you something about the bread when you are using whole wheat flour for the dough. So the water is what makes the bread to rise, make it light and fluffy. Thus in the case of whole wheat flour, you need lot of water if you want your bread to rise the double. Well for the pizza dough, it's not really needed and I will talk about this in details later in the video. Next I am going to add 1 tablespoon of olive oil. You can also add butter instead if you are making a bread. Give a quick mix to all the dry ingredients. Now I am going to add the yeast activated water and later I will use more water as needed. So how the yeast makes your bread to rise? Well when the dough is kneaded, millions of air bubbles are trapped throughout the dough. And the yeast in the dough metabolizes the starches and sugar in the flour turning them into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide gas. This gas helps to inflate the air bubbles causing the bread to rise. So in simple words, bread rises because the yeast in the bread undergoes alcoholic fermentation which releases CO2 or the carbon dioxide gas causing it to rise. The yeast will keep multiplying until stopped by the oven's heat. At home, 2 to 3 hours is enough for the rising of the bread dough. But for professional touch, give the dough a longer and slow rise by putting it in the refrigerator. This allows more time for the fermentation. As the dough rises, bacteria grow along with the yeast. These bacteria include some of the same lactic acid producing bacteria that turns the milk into the yogurt, which gives slow rising bread the tang. If the bread doesn't rise, then there can be a few reasons. The yeast was dead before you used it, or the water used was too cold or too hot, or maybe the dough was not kneaded properly. Knead the dough nicely till smooth texture. To make a simple pizza crust with whole wheat flour, add less water. Adding more water can make the dough to rise more, making it more like bread. And I'm sure you don't want your pizza crust to be very fluffy. When you are done with the kneading, apply a little bit of oil on the top so that it doesn't get dried. Now keep this in a bowl and cover it. Keep the pizza dough in a warm place for 2 to 4 hours to rise. And for more fluffy texture, keep it in a cool place for 16 to 18 hours. I am going to keep it in a warm place for 4 hours. The dough has rise perfectly. Now my whole wheat pizza dough is ready. This is super soft and porous. You can keep this pizza dough in the refrigerator and use it within 5 days. 
or you can make the pizza base and bake them at 350 degree Fahrenheit for 20 minutes and store them in the refrigerator to use it later. Well my pizza dough is ready and now I'm going to quickly make a simple cheese pizza. So let's get started. Flatten the dough with the hand or using a rolling pin. To make the pizza I'm using a 8 inch baking plate. Use a flat oven set plate on which flatten the dough. On the sides I'm going to flatten them really thin and I'm going to roll small pieces of mozzarella shade stick to make it the cheese burst one. Next, I'm going to add the pizza tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza base. Some low fat mozzarella cheese all over it. And a little bit of pizza seasoning. And now straight into the oven at 500 degree Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. That looks perfect. Making the pizza dough or the bread dough is all about the proportion between the flour, water and the yeast. So next time when you make a bread or the pizza dough, make sure to keep all these things in mind. You can see the crust is perfect, soft and crunchy and not at all like the bread. I'm sure you enjoyed the video and got a little information on how to use the yeast in pizza dough. Thank you for watching All Light Food The Kitchen Talks. For more subscribe to the channel. Make sure to watch the recipes and food goodies videos. See you soon till then goodbye take care and stay healthy.